Look at this. Holy shit. Actually, look at this. How <laughs> sick is this? Oh, oh my God. So oh, sick. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna to be heading up to the city. I'm gonna go see North Borders and Seventh Era. And the reason why is because we have this meeting that we're gonna be going to. I wanna go take photos afterwards if we have enough time. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So, let's go. All right. It'll be good to see Mark and, um, Mark and Liam. I haven't seen them like over a week, like since I was... Fuck! So with this business meeting that we've got today, I didn't sort this out at all. This was all North Borders and Seventh Era's idea. They're really business orientated. And I really, I actually do admire that because like everyone's different and some people are more towards the artist side of the spectrum and some people are more towards the business side of the spectrum. The business is more of an art to them. We've set this up like, four months ago or something. So there's been a massive lead up for this. I've just been like having it in the back of my mind. I've been just doing my thing, like making videos and stuff. And now it's come to the day where I actually should have done some sort of graphic design or something to prepare myself for this meeting, but I haven't done anything. It's currently coming on to five o'clock. My meeting is at 6.30. I have an hour and a half to come up with some ideas for my merchandise. And I, <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out. All right, I just need some stress relief. I'm gonna go outside, get some fresh air. Oh my God. We're not in the country anymore. I'm so underprepared right now. I have no idea what we're gonna do for this meeting. Are you actually prepared? You will be prepared. I'm always prepared. prepared. I'm, I'm gonna no be running the. I'm, I'm gonna be okay. running the meeting for sure. <laughs> okay, you do all the talking. I'm just gonna sit here and be on my phone and uh, answer my Instagram uh, DMs. Oh wow! Good? Wow, so we're having famous. a meeting. I'm so, such a good. Oh my yeah. god! Wow. I'm just, just a good guy. Just a good guy that goes in the meetings and just doesn't <laughs> talk the whole. I don't time. care. F the system. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm Hayden. Nice to meet you. That one's sick. I feel very uncomfortable that Aiden is filming me and the audio is going to be taken out of this one. So <laughs> it doesn't what? matter. How was that for a meeting, boys? We what do you it. reckon? We did it. We, we did actually it. did it. We got some good logos, but best part was the pizza for sure. Do you reckon I've winged it pretty well or not? Yeah, I reckon. You're Should the graphic good. designer, so you're the one who's got to tell me whether I did well or not, so... <laughs> I mean, do you want me to be honest or...? <laughs> <laughs> this lady over here is holding up traffic, and then this person is cracking it right now. Where would you like me to park? We're going in there. See the indicator is on. If it's, we're turning in that laneway. <laughs> I reckon we should do some Santa photos. Do you reckon that's original content? Santa oh, photography? So original. What do you reckon, graphic designer? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Look at this guy over here. Bro, that would be a sick long exposure. That actually shit. would be, oh my god. Whoa! Look at this. Holy shit. Actually look at this. How <laughs> sick is this? 
Oh, oh my God. That's so sick. That's insane. Dude, this is going to be such good lighting. Of course, we don't have like the props and everything like that, but that doesn't matter because look at this. Like the lighting Dude, here would just be absolutely. This makes up for all the props. Yeah. The only problem is look how many people there are here. How are we going to get. We're not going to be able to get a photo. <laughs> Oh, move your camera closer to the feet, yeah, a uh, bit, bit less. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Wait, do you reckon a reflection would be sick here as well? This looks insane, Hayden. A bit, a bit less reflection, a bit less. This shot is so good. He's gonna take off Liam's jumper just so that he can get a photo of it because this lighting is absolutely amazing. Right, this is I can't believe how good this is. How the photos go? Bro, Show this, us. Oh Show us. God. Check this out, bro. Ready? Got good lighting. Yeah. No way. Oh no, I can't okay. believe it. From this spot, as look well. at that reflection. It's amazing, yeah, bro. Sure. It's amazing. What? <laughs> Chris is coming early this year, baby. You want some professional photos? We're photographers. Five, three, two, one. You want? <laughs> yes. This is Liam trying to pick up no, right now. <laughs> you didn't even hook up with her. What's the go? What? What's the <laughs> no, go? What's the go? Me. Answer it. Answer me right now. Mate, okay. I'm just a professional photographer <laughs> who just yeah. Does job. Mate, I was just, just use being a profession to pick I was just up. Being What's a good you? professional photographer. That is it. That's right? what they that all say. Is. That's what they all say. <laughs> And that's why I love Christmas. So the very first photo that Liam took was absolutely amazing. Like I've never seen a photo like this ever in my whole life. You know that guy that was like spinning around the LED lights? Those LED lights had different patterns. When the shutter is open for that prolonged period of time, it allows the patterns to kind of like be drawn into the photo with the light. So what happened was it drew this pattern of SpongeBob. SpongeBob's just there. He's like, you big goof, Gary. <laughs> I've never seen that. And then the next one was like the $20 bill from Australia. What? I don't know where to get these things, like these LED things, but I need one now. If you know where to get one of these, leave that down in the comments as well, because I, that would be a sick photo and a sick video as well. And then the second location. So the second location we went to, obviously it had that massive tree and like we were so excited and everything. But then the more we thought about the kind of photo that we wanted to take, which was kind of like doing a low down shot, looking upwards with like a wide angle lens, or like me standing there having a really epic kind of shot. The more we thought about that, the more we realized like that's just, it's not gonna happen kind of thing because there was just infinite amount of people there. We pretty much completely disregarded the tree, focused completely on the light that the tree emitted. We went as close as possible to the stem of the tree. It was the best decision ever. When you're taking photos of something, try and think of it in a different way. Try shooting in a different way and you might be surprised with the results you can get. It can mean all the difference from this photo being really good to this photo being really great and you never know. So like it's all about just trying new things. So the actual photo, this photo was freaking unreal. I think that this is hands down my favorite photo that I've ever gotten taken of me ever. Like look at this lighting. We've got the lights on the left side of the photo and like th that in itself, those lights, the symmetry of that coming towards the lens, it draws the lines into where the camera lens is. And then you have the reflection inside the lens of the bokeh and it just looks like stars, like a, a different galaxy, like infinite bokeh inside that lens, which I am, that is sick. I love that. And then we obviously have like the reflection hack, which what I said before, if you haven't seen on my other videos, I've put it up here. So pretty much what he did was he just put his phone up towards the lens just like that to create a reflection. Just doing that obviously it reflects the left side onto the right side so it fills up the right side of the frame and we've got just that symmetry of the blue colors and then you got the blue contrasting on the orange bokeh in the background. Bottom line, that was a sick shoot. It was so much fun. The photos turned out amazing. So I'd probably rate it about a nine and a half out of 10. That's pretty rare because I'm I've got high standards when it comes to my photo shoots. And that's the thing, like when you're creating, your photos don't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. That's the thing. That's the best part about creating. Taking photos, whether they are good, bad, whether they're shit or great, like it doesn't matter. The actual act of creating in itself, you'll always get better and better every time. Even if you don't think that you're getting better, you're always getting better because you're learning little lessons 
every single time you're doing it. Anyway, so question of the day. Have you tried the glass crystal ball for photography? Do you mean like the lens ball? Like on, on Instagram, I see heaps of these photos of like these lens ball kind of things. Liam has one, so maybe I could do a video on it. Maybe we could do a photo shoot in a video on it, like who, who knows? That would actually be pretty fun. Good comment, good suggestion, I'll take that into account. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing, it's up to you, completely up to you, you know what to do. Whether you don't wanna subscribe or whether you do wanna subscribe or like this, but like this button, then uh, <laughs> what am I, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, yeah. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.